Sorry if this is a bit late, but I've just got home from school. Don't mind my voice, it's just I'm super hot because, you know, I've been rushing around school and my bus is just so, well, let's just say they want to put everyone next to each other on the bus, want no one standing, even though you can hold on to something. Anyway, today's video is basically just going to be reviewing the larger figures before they're built and I'll do a short later review on them when they're built so here we go so first I'm going to talk about the old one I got this magazine when it first came out it's Lloyd as his original legacy with his golden sword versus a stone warrior with a sun to guard and sword now these are quite generic and basic if you know what i mean because like the stone warrior well stone warrior is the stone warrior lloyd kind of looks like his old one but then i'll talk more about that later when i do a review on this and the sword is pretty much like a golden weapon here considering this was like the golden weapon kind of season era so that's what i have to say about this this on the other hand is not as generic yes we get the overlord but this is like from season three face is creepy this Lloyd is Core Lloyd, as a lot of you will know. Comes with the same golden sword, but just doesn't have that like chain thing. The Overlord, on the other hand, comes with a spear, a helmet, and his transparent stuff, which I think fits this Overlord better, because in season two he was in Garmadan's body, wasn't he? But yeah, they give the Overlord from that season this. And also they gave him, well, an angry... Well, let's just say this looks like a failed attempt at the original head. If you know what I mean. So yeah, this looks more like the season 3 Overlord. Maybe we'll get an accurate one someday. Like the accurate face and all that. Anyway, that's all I have to say about these figures. There'll be a review on the comic later. And a review on the figures before that. So I guess I'll see you in those. Bye!